All right. So you uh, finished the pants, especially on the back. Yeah. Um, yeah. All the same uh, approach you've done on the top, so really haven't missed anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, miraculously and mysteriously, there is a <laughs> boot that just appeared. Yes. Yeah. A shiny black leather boot. Mm -hmm. um, we decided to also paint that off cam because it will be the very same here on that shoe. Mm -hmm. um, Plus, it's, not, it's nice to actually see where we're going at. So yes. it's hours like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so we start with the second boot. You uh, see, although I have a very strong contrast in here, uh, it's not really the same as in the non-metal parts. Also because uh, the blue in here uh, really makes it look uh, cooler and sharper as well. Here, this is done just with black and white mm -hmm. and a thin glaze of a very, very thin glaze of tank brown in the end. Okay, because um, uh, I was wondering about this uh, whether it should be a little browner. Yeah, I think we can just increase it a tiny bit in some areas, but I want them to look like uh, black leather boots. Mm -hmm. It's actually a um, little trick um, also on uh, non-metallic metals and so on, uh, like stuff that faces the ground um, to make it um, uh, in ground colors. And of course, if you don't really have a base in mind already, uh, like brown is usually a good color uh, to use. And then uh, putting something more like blue in the, in the highlights yeah. as, as a reflection from the sky. And uh, it has to be very subtle though, otherwise it just looks wrong. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, just like that. All right. So uh, we'll show you how to do the uh, base color of the boot. We will have some uh, very thin black in in the back of the brush. So we'll show it first on my fingernail. Oh yeah. It's almost non-existent. Homeopathic paint, as we call it. And some white to the tip. And same as I did here, I want also a strong reflex running around that line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, this color in the brush to the tip. And I will just start um, wrinkle by wrinkle. So really the, the black in the back of the brush is uh, almost like um, feathering with uh, just water. But the pigments help a little bit because the contrast here is of course extremely strong. Yeah, and the pig pigments help just to break that a tiny bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it's, uh, the danger is that the white might turn a little spotty.
And again, this is one of, uh, I wouldn't say, Ben's little secrets is, is uh, to uh, really put down strong contrast. Um, and you'll see how that will kind of be turned, uh, tuned back a little bit later. But um, I mean, this way you kind of have the maximum contrast already, and then you just kind of refine it. Can you say something about uh, where you position the lights? Because uh, we said the light comes from the kind of top left a little bit. It's kind of catching the end of those folds, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, one second, let me just, because it's a very uh, precise work I need to do at this very second, so <laughs> it's hard to explain at the same moment. Let me just draw two lines and then we'll talk about that. No multitasking, I see. <laughs> I can't do that either, so. Okay, so I want to have that separation line between the, because the, we have this uh, place on the border here. Mm -hmm. This is raised a little, so that would definitely catch some light. So, um, we have, as we have the, the highlight here on the breastplate as well, Mm -hmm. From this direction, I want the the light to be kind of from the same angle. So, catch here in just one straight line downwards, yeah. with like on this side. I think that's the key word. One straight line. Uh, they all uh, all of them are kind of uh, like in a row, if you want. Yeah, and that's that's very characteristic for these kind of uh, shiny leather, um, latex kind of uh, material. So yeah, the uh, we'll just try to get one uh, consecutive line of highlights and preserve quite some of the the black um, towards the middle side. Um, uh, then again, highlight here, but not on this side, but not as bright. So we have a dark uh, mid area. Mm -hmm. I think you all recognize this uh, strength of the loaded brush technique here. Um, what Ben is doing is blending from black to white, which is kind of the strongest contrast we can possibly think of. Um, and uh, if you try to do this with glazes, you just not have a fun day. Like glazes are traditional kind of layering techniques and stuff. And again, if you go a little overboard, if the area that you're highlighting becomes too big, all you have to do is take some black and Place it down again. So again, here there's a little raised border. I want to try and highlight that a little stronger. I'm not uh, adding another color because uh, that would be a little bit too much. As with that strong contrast on on the boots, there's already a lot going on. To blend in these highlights here, uh, I will mix a little gray on the palette because mm -hmm. I need to soft them out a little to, to one side here and to the back.
So really, I think there's um, the the secret here is uh, to know exactly how much of the white you have on the tip. I think that's yeah. if it's too much. If it's too little, that's that's not so problematic. But if it's too much, then uh, it's going to get a little more complicated. Yeah. All right. All right. So far for uh, the the main highlight here on that boot. Mm -hmm. um, I will do another one um, in the same method, but, but not as bright here on, on that side. Mm -hmm. um, therefore, I will therefore I will mix a light gray on the palette, so I have that ready for a loaded brush. So you're placing the white highlight with a light gray, yeah, just to be darker right from the start. Yep. Overall, the highlights on this side are also smaller than on the other side. Yeah. Okay. I think that is already okay. Um, soften out some of the areas. Yeah, soften out, especially here, the, this here, the edge. Um, I will just glaze uh, with also with tank brown over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so some of that contrast will uh, get a little, little bit uh, tuned down. Yeah. <coughs> on the sole of the feet you had some uh, dirt as well on the other one. Yeah. Yeah. There again there's no big secret there. It's kind of yeah. like the same that you did on the on yeah. the cloak. It's just a little more concentrated in focus. Yeah, it's just more mud brown and I just pulled it towards the, here actually, towards the heel. And I will tone that down also with some of the strong tone, but it looks like dried mud. It's actually quite nice because it becomes quite dusty. These little details, I mean, if you especially if you're if you're thinking about maybe entering in a competition or something like that, are really really helpful. Um, if you have two miniatures that are painted the same way, and one has these additional little details and the other one doesn't, um, chances are that you will take home the big prize. <laughs> okay. Okay. One little thing we have on the on the boots um, are uh, those little. Um, I don't know if uh, it's like a button or it's like a button or a gem. So I decided to paint it a bit gem like, so with a small gold frame and a little bit of red color in there. Mm -hmm. So that is a very small detail. Um, nevertheless, I will just try to uh, paint just color on the on the outer edge. Kind of keep the black line. Yeah. And again, this is where the tip is just. Necessary. Okay, for the gold again, it's a uh, Japanese uniform. This time, because it's such a small detail, it's pure Japanese uniform, not toned down with black. And some white. In some Japanese uniform to make it a bit smaller. Okay, and to get some of that black line here in the inner part. Yeah, it looks like you overpainted that a little bit. Huh? Yeah, it's an extremely small detail, so chances are that you will overpaint a little bit. Okay. 
Um, I've added some red to the palette. So our model color red. Big but just a tiny bit of red here on the tiny bit of red here on the lower side. Some white for a highlight. Yep, looks like metal, all right. <laughs> So I would do that on the other side, um, but uh, yeah, then I would call the boots actually to be done. There's not that much left, is there? Uh, no, we just have the um, shoulder pads to do and the uh, hat with the feathers. Nice! Alright. Yep, looking good so far.